It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Right after the break. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher in this game, number 63. What do you have on him? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Leading off, off C.J. Abrams. The football, C.J. Abrams. Here comes a pitch. Just oh, off the outside edge. And we are underway. Bounce to the right side. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, I hope that's not a sign of things to come yes, in this one for either side. We want to see a good, clean game in this one. An error on the first play of the game kind of makes you wonder, but it's a great chance for this visiting lineup to strike first. Here's Jesse Winker. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Oh, the Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one finds its way through. Throw okay. back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That is her. The right field. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Lane Thomas. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. Runner tags up for... Runners at the corners now. One away. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jesse Winker. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. First and third, one down. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Base hit into right center. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Throw, and it gets away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Two on, one out. Stepping in, Luis Garcia. And there's the strike. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Hey, he's going to miss. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it gets by him. The run scores from third. It's 2-0. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. So digging in, Nick Senzel. Golden opportunity right here. That's in there. And that is strike one. 0-1. Gallo at third. Garcia at second with one away. Tries to hold up. Appeal to first. And he went around. 
That's ruled the swing. The 0 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Eddie Rosario. And that's inside, off the inside edge. Ball one. That's Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Second and third, two down. Staying in a miss as he was out front. Well, I know we've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Nationals 2, the Dodgers coming to bat. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And on the hill, the lefty, Patrick Corbin. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. And, Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, hey. have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Good eye oh, right there. Out. Well, with Otani on the mound today, you think about how big of a star he's become in the U.S., but his dog, Decoy, stole the show away from his master when he was being awarded his second MVP. He's just so darn cute. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Makes the catch for the out. Batting third. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. Two outs, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And another ball. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid that's off cool. right there as he got that's into an cool. advantage count. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball oh, back man. up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Ripped on a line. And Hernandez is out. And that ends the inning. So the Dodgers back here at Chavez Ravine. Second inning set to go. And now the catcher comes up to him. Drew Millis. That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Wastes no time there. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Berg, and can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. So, man aboard, and here's the rookie center fielder. Swings hey. through that. Oh, one's the count. Runner at second, nobody out. Swings hey. through that one out in front that oh, time. Okay. James Kingsley, a plate umpire, consistent, as you mentioned, and Maybe a little generous on the edges. Headed down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. 
fights it off. You'll see another. And it's second. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you and you can't reach it. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Tag. Not in time. He scores. It's three zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One out. Runner at second. Jesse Winker getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. That one, one missed. Ball, one strike. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Abrams, the runner at second with one away. The other way, and that's just foul. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Tom batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Man at first, one away. Three. Got him swinging. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched no him up on no, the inside three. part of the plate. Couldn't Jolene. get around on it and catch Yellow. it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit one. that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. no errors and one left now to the bottom of the second it's the nationals four and the dodgers nothing and welcome back to the ballpark bottom of the second and at the plate for the dodgers max muncie and a swing and a miss corbin in count. his 12th season he features a sinker a slider a four seamer and he works in a changeup. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. Out. And the count is one and one. Hard ground ball, base now. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the, the infield, so I think he'll be happy Play with that ball. swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. At the play, Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back. Garcia, off balance That's feed. Out. There's one on a gallop. Oh, There's two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feet from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Miguel Rojas at the plate now. That's ball one. On the outside corner, and the count one and one. 
Runner at third, two away. This one smacked out to left center. And that should be extra bases. The runner from third comes across as they get one back. It's 4-1. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around with a rolling over. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. And up next for Los Angeles, Austin Barnes. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Man on second, two down. And down on strikes. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. Dodgers with a run scoring double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the Washington. inning. And now up for Washington, Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. The pitch. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Now Anytime back. you rip a line Great drive reason. the other way, you feel really good Seven about down. what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard. Next to hit for the Nats, Nick Senzel. Oh, that's out. Just off the outside edge, 1-0. and oh. You know, these Nationals really producing with runners on. It's been a right place, right time kind of game for them. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. Hernandez makes a nice running catch. On top of that, they haven't left many guys on base, so they've the been efficient field, getting eight. runners on and finding Eddie. ways to bring them home. Rosario. Now here is Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1. That one ripped right center field. And it's into the gap. The run comes in from second. It's 5-1. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Drew Millis digging in for the Nationals. Pitch hey. is in there. 0-1. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now back. And now the, the center, center fielder field. struck out swinging his first no. time. Ball oh, one there. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Popped in the air, left field. And that is that. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. It's now a 5 1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. And we're back. Set for the bottom of the third. Mookie Betts will get us started. There's a swing and a drop. That one outs against the fence. Around first and hustling for second. And one pitch into the inning, it's a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He's over one. Ball one, no strikes. 
So back in 2023, Shohei hit a home run, stole a base, and had a scoreless pitching outing in the same game. You'll never guess the last person to do it. Pablo Sandoval. Oh, you're good. I feel like I've heard that one before. Whips it to Gallo. They get him, but it was pretty close. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Strike. The ball one is out. outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Right through there for a strike. Line drive. Base hit and a run in to score. Oh, he throws it away. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get something to the outfield grass to push that run across. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 so far. On the ground, two ball. Garcia. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first, safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now it's Max Muncy. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a good eye there. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike. The Dodgers trailing by three here in the last half of the third. That one the other way. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the... Back here in L.A., John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, C.J. Abrams. And he deals. A pitch in for a strike, going one. Oh, and one. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive. Oh, he gloves it. Great hops right there, Boog. He timed it just right to bring that liner down, and he saved the knock. Now it's the right now fielder, Lane Thomas. Right Struck out on just three pitches last oh. time. Swing and a miss, strike one. All one's the count. And that one hammered. That's back there. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Coming home. He will score. And they lead by four. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence. But you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. That's in there. It's 0-1. This one in the air. Otani under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Luis Garcia the now at the plate. Three. Second base here. Luis Garcia. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Thomas on its second with two down. Runner takes off. In the air, left field down the line. And that's a foul ball. 0-2 now. 
Line to left. Fair ball. Around third. And that rolls into the corner. He scores, and the lead is up to five. Safe at third with a triple, his third hit of the day. Comes through with the RBI. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And here is Nick Senzel. Ripped to third. Tosses the first. They limit the damage here. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the National 7 and the Dodgers 2. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom, the bottom of the inning. And at the plate no for the Dodgers, here. Chris Taylor. Taylor. Ball nope. one to That's Taylor. Inside. That hey. one finds the zone. And the count one and one. The wind and the pitch. And there's a strike. That slider breaking in could be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. That was a good one right there. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now batting, right fielder. And now the right fielder, Andy Pajas. He hit into a double play his first time up. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. And another ball. The Nats leading by five. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Kicks and fires. And they'll do it again. The 2 2 on the way. To third, might be two. Feed to second, that's one. Now to first, and it's a double play. As a former player, watching five four three double, double plays brings back Shut some up. adrenaline. It's Be such there. an exciting play, and it's always a great oh, reminder huh. of baseball being such a team sport. Miguel Rojas at the play, doubled in his first AB. That's in there. Strike one. Liner to second and picked on the hop to first. Oh. And that is the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four. It's the National Seven and the Dodgers. Two. We go to the top of the fifth. Up now for Washington, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. Rosario goes six foot one, 32 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the righty deals. Ripped into left center, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Now back. So, man. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Alex Vesia. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And a pitch. And oh. that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. Lifted in the air down the left side. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases.
Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. The batter, number five, shortstop, C.J. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Freeman to second. There's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. No runs on two base hits. No errors. And one left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals seven and the Dodgers two. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Austin Barnes. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. And a 1-1. Just oh, missed. That's out to center field. And there's one away. Now better. Back to the A top of the Dodgers field. order. Mookie. Here's the third baseman, Mookie Betts. Yeah. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive the season. The Dodgers star hit ball, nearly 40 right. home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. Ball two. And Mookie takes. Two balls, one strike. Fastball for a strike. Two and two. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Out to short. Abrams. Gathers and throws to first. Mookie retired two down. Up next to the Dodgers. The two outs, baseman. bases empty. Here's Shohei Otani. Otani. And ball takes one. low for ball one. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly. No, he's safe. Looked to me like he kind of let the ball play him instead of playing the ball, and it just ate him off. The hands get stiff, and even the best infielders make these kinds of mistakes. You just have to learn from it and move on. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now batting. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a ground ball to first. Gallo oh. takes it himself. What a play. Inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now Jesse Winker. And that one fouled off. High in the air, out to right. Settles under this one. And a quick out number one. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball the right there. Ball. Lucky the it stayed in the ballpark. Lane. And now up for Washington, oh, Lane Thomas. Hey. And that's in for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one. one out, base is empty.
One down, base is empty. Three. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's Joey Gallo. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Freeman should have this one. And that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do. Well, we go bottom six, and now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Max Muncie. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fall off foul. The wind to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And next for L.A., Chris Taylor. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Boog, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with a pickoff artist on the mound. Here's the 0-2. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Puts it in the air out towards left center. One down. So up next, Miguel Rojas, one for two. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Oh, Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. This to center field. Abrams makes his way towards it. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. And here's the catcher. Austin Barnes. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Right through there for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jordan Weems up and loosening in the pen. Williams warming up as well. Next pitch misses. One ball, and the count strikes. one and two. 0 oh, 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Speed's probably coming. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. All loaded up here in the bottom of the sixth. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Runner comes in from second to score, and they cut the lead. It's 7-4. Back-to-back -back singles, just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Patrick Corbin done for the afternoon, and it's going to be a start that he'd like to get a redo on, not his best. Back with the new one. In a minute. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Trevor Williams. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Betts in the box now. Take strike one. Right-handed reliever. 
swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Base hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. That it's line drive good. isn't going to allow that step yeah. fast or anything like that, but it gets the job done. Oh, and he just kind of caught it on a weird spot oh, in the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. Line drive, he brings it down. Nice play. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute base, missile. It almost becomes self defense as the fielder. Three when man. one of those things comes screaming towards you, watch your lips. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Three for three with three singles. And he grounds one to the right side. Garcia in plenty of time to first. And Freeman is retired. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. We're through six full. It's the National seven and the Dodgers four. Back here in L.A., we go to the top of the seventh. Up now for Washington, Luis yeah. Garcia. In there at the knees. On one. Strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And that one in the air center field. Hauls it in for the out. Next now to hit for the Nats, Nick Senzel. Nick. 0 for 3. Senzel. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. There's a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets a head and a count. Close nope. one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. The pitch. And it's a slider for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Nope. And a ball nope. evens the count. It's a good take. Got him. Now two out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, oh, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Eddie two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that one hit to first. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. So they go quietly. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Williams back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Double-digit hits, and they've done a great job of avoiding the strikeout. Only one of them so far, now which tells you a lot. Here comes Max now. Muncy. Muncy. Swung on, belted. season and they cut into the lead it's 7-5 one pitch one swing one home run yeah you can say that's efficiency right there didn't need much time in the box to make an impact this one absolutely screamed out of here singy a laser that cast tells us it was 112 miles an hour off the bat yeah, it left in a real hurry and didn't go that far because of the launch angle being a little flatter, but clearly it had all the velocity it needed to leave the yard. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, one's the count. That one is absolutely belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win.
One down. Andy Pajas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Fastball in for a strike, going one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 2. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want well, to do it. Set well, him up in the strike zone, well, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Well, Nicely done with the slider right there. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Line drive. He gets down, base hit. Taylor, rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. But man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for three. This one in the air right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back to back base hits. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So, so out of the pen comes the right hander, Jordan Weems. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And there's the ball. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one back there. Long gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. It's their second home run of the inning. And that's how they take the lead. It's 9-7. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the foul pole, and talk about a huge swing, that's it in this ballgame. Could be the biggest swing of this ballgame. We'll see. Next to hit, Shohei Otani. That misses, and that's ball one. On its way to the corner, on the move. Won't get to this one, it drops foul. The 1-1. One -one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Gets under it. Squeezes it. And that is that. Mookie Betts with the big strike in the inning. It's now 9-7. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. We go to the eighth, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Drew Millis. And the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And it's caught for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Number 30 stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. 
Bauer, he got away with a mistake right there. And he'll chew. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And there are two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And here's the DH for Washington. Jesse Winker. Way yep, outside, one ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Home half of back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Matt Barnes. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Freddie Freeman digs in now. Here comes a pitch. Inside oh, just missed. Barnes measures six feet four inches. He throws a curveball, a four seamer, and occasionally works hey. in a splitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw in. He's in there. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. And that's in there for strike one. Just missed. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. In the air right field, Thomas drifts towards it, makes the grab one down. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility. Good no one away, three. runners at first and second. First and Stay second, hard. one out. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. That clips a corner. Taylor's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two on, one out. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, that's He's one. Out. On a gallop, there's two. So a leadoff double. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Lynn Thomas. In there at the knees. Ground ball right side. He handles it himself. One up, one down. A couple of pitches and a quick out. He's two outs away. And now the first baseman, Joey Gallo. That one fouled off. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Hernandez, drop step, going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
thought that was a no doubter. The like the team. wind was holding that in this ballpark. The so Washington, Luis. And there's a foul ball. The old one. Ground ball right side. And it goes just foul. The Nationals down to their final strike. Line drive. They'll squeeze it for the final out. And the Dodgers slug their way to a win in this one. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. And 9-7 is the final here in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.